great one. It's a great uh, one. Do uh, the transcripts. Me. Trust me. Trust well, me. You know I, how many I, times I, I've I, seen I, the I, final episode of Angel? Question, and we're going to let you get back to work. It, it is a great um, line, and I've quoted it myself, but that's not the last line. You add that with some of the some of the binge watcher binge worthy TV shows we're talking about. Yeah. What are you what are you what are you geeking out on as far as watching the entire season in an afternoon? Uh, wow, um, entire season in an afternoon. Uh, I will say. Uh, by uh, dint of being uh, with my wife, the last thing that we binge watched was Once Upon a Time, uh, <laughs> and so you know, we, and the, she got super into it, it and I was happen. was it around and happen. watching and I telling actually, her, I you know, this show's really cheesy. She's like, oh, yeah, it's right. <laughs> uh, just because I felt like it was necessary. It was time. I do that when I get ready to get prep. That's my prep work for shows, and uh, so I'm not sure if Kirk, if you know, uh, we have an announcement. Uh, the next and fan loves you guys so much. We've yeah. decided that uh, during our live broadcasts, we're going to be giving away a PS. F- we're going to be giving away a PS4 at Pla- at Planet Comic Con. Well, sometime that weekend, if not, yeah, that is. And all the events at Planet Comic Con, but especially all ours. the more reason for people to show up and to to check out your your events at Planet Comic Con. I that's great. Ex- yes. <laughs> well, all the more reason to check out planetcomicon dot com. Indeed, uh, we we want to see everybody to uh, you know March thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth, Bartle Hall, downtown Kansas City. Uh, you know we're we're running uh, starting starting off Friday at noon and and running through Sunday at that five p.m. Uh, all kinds of things going on. It, it, like I said, if you're if you're nerdy about something, then then there's a, an element for you, um, and, and and just the really the chance to 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 see the people that that uh, make the things that you love and to mm-hmm. find the the dealers that sell the stuff that you want to have, uh, and, and uh, a lot of spectacle as well in terms of being able to to see the cosplayers to to uh, attend panels to uh, we've got a bunch of VIP Vehicles coming, so we've got a, a Back to the Future car. We've got a Land Speeder coming. Uh, all kinds of, uh, of vehicles that'll be out that, that you can get photos taken with. Uh, it's you know, it's great and it's a great family experience too. I should mention that it, you know people are thinking about bringing uh, kids <laughs> that uh, kids ten and under are are free uh, with two, two two free kids with a with a paid adult basically, so people aren't just showing up with a whole busload full of kids. And that that that. Let me at least just really help you reemphasize that. That is the important part right there is how family friendly and kid friendly your event is. Uh, I I must say that is very, very impressive. You know, you guys really do that up well. And those of us that had our kids there, uh, I I have to say thank you because uh, it, it, you know, (laughs) wow. Well. and when you're there with your kids and you're looking for a place to do, and I'm not, we've got some different stuff going with gaming. We didn't really touch on some of the gaming events, but we've got a really, people need to check out the website for what we've got going on with a huge electronic gaming with with uh, video game stuff that, that's kind of new and exclusive that's there. I don't have the full details in front of me. Uh, tabletop gaming, we'll have a room full of tabletop gaming with some special events going on. The tabletop gaming room in the past has been a pretty good spot to land when you need to just sit and chill for a little bit yeah. and with your kids. Now, it's a little bit more active this year we, we may see but if you find that that's too active head on down to towards toward the uh, the grand ballroom into what we're calling the cantina we're just going to have a nice little lounge set up down there with a uh, impressive windows out looking south over Kansas City and the Kaufman uh, Center for Performing Arts and uh, the, the, the cantina is going to be a nice place when you're ready to escape the the, he- the are, uh, hectic uh, and, convention and floor for a little bit to, to go sit to and we're going to have some fan meetups going on down there and just a bunch of, uh, bunch of cool stuff. Kirk? Off the change. It, it is just going to be off the chain. But for those of us that have been attending, uh, didn't you guys also acquire some more space? Or have you guys grown inside Broader Hall? I mean, are you? No. 
Literally every single year we, we've added more space. So, you know, when we first came out from uh, the Trade Center, we went from 50,000 square feet to about 100,000 square feet. Uh, last year we went from 100,000 to 200,000. This year from 200,000 to 300,000 square feet of exhibit hall space. And we've actually added a panel room. I, this, I mentioned this before, the panel room that seats about 2,800 where I'll be with Karen Gillen. That's, that's a new space for us, and it essentially doubled – the the combined amount of space that we had in five rooms before in one big room now. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it's just, it is continuing to grow uh, like some sort of, uh, you know, a plant monster that's consuming the city in a bad uh, horror movie. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, here's to hoping that you guys will eventually just take over <laughs> all of our We'll so find a way I to get it. You, guys that direction. Uh, you know, there is very little space in Bartle Hall that we are not using today. There's still a little bit of room for us to grow. <laughs> we, 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 we have we have one spot, uh, w- one of the halls that's uh, one of the smaller halls up to, for the exhibit Thank hall that we may be able to use, and we've got just a few little meeting rooms <laughs> down down at the street level. After that, you know, we're just going to have to. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have wow. to expand over to the music hall and the, and things across the street. Ladies and gentlemen, that that, that, that is a happy problem to have. Largest you know, uh, comic book convention again, Comic Con, March thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. You have been phenomenal at the, uh, in the Bartle Hall. So this, as always, uh, it up, Kurt, check Kurt, us out on on our website, nationfan.com. Yeah, so right. for Keith, thanks guys, I really appreciate Kurt, it. My name is Hawk, and you've been listening to Fanatics and the Fans.